I'm dropping this pack. The link will be in the description. There'll be a paid version and a free version. And I'm also going to show you in the video how to add your own custom profiles if you just want to use the free version. So we'll just jump into it and I'll kind of explain what it's all about and you'll see. So I thought I would drop this pack because if you've ever done interior moldings, you'll know that it absolutely sucks in Blender. It's really slow and it's just loads of clicking and curves and curve on curve and rotating the axis and all this crap. So I thought I'd drop this here, which is just a hundred profiles and the geometry nodes tool here, which we'll see right there. And we can just drag and drop this onto any curve and then adjust it in the modifiers tab. Convert it to a curve. So we convert to curve and then we just drag the node group on and that's it on there. And it's as simple as coming over here to the modifier tab. So if we come over to the modifiers now, while this is selected, the object that we just dragged on, you can see we have an option to pick different profiles. So if you switch the profile, Blender Asset Browser, all we should have to do is come up to Edit, Preferences, come to File Path, Add a File Path, and we're just going to add our Powerful Profile folder. And that's it. Just add it from there. And so you should have a new asset library called Powerful Profile. And then whenever we come down here, we just go to Powerful Profile. And you'll see all the profiles plus the tool. Between scaling Z minus one or one, we're going to get the up and down versions. And then by rotating at 180 degrees or zero degrees, we're going to get the in and out version. So for people that want to use this add-on for completely free, there'll be limited amount of profiles in it. I'm going to show you how to add custom curves to the pack. So we'll go to our profiles here. We currently have a hundred here and we, we want to add another one. So all we do is we make a little single vert over here. So we have a profile like that, let's say. And all we want to do is we press control period. We move our pivot. We snap it to the corner where we want the profile to go around. Press control period again. Now we have the object. We're ready to go nearly. I want to bring it into one of these squares that are in Blender by default. Scale it down. Just apply our scale, control A, apply the scale. I'm going to call this 104 here. And then once we have that there, we're going to literally just click the asset. So we'll click it. We'll focus it. We're going to mark it as an asset. So now it's marked. You'll see it's unassigned and it has no preview. Come to our profile 104 anyway. It's unassigned. What we can do is we press the end to open the end panel. We click our asset. We open up our custom screenshot that we just took. So we have profile 104 here. Boom. We add the custom thing and then we just assign it to the profiles tab. And then now we have an extra profile added to our library. And we'll just make sure we press control save to save the entire file. And then now we can use that profile in another file. So that's it pretty much summarized and just showing you real quick how to use the pack. It's not a perfect workflow by any means, but it is better than the solution we have in Blender. It's the fastest way that I've found it doing this specific task. And so if you like this or you have any questions about it, leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.